What's going on guys? Welcome back to another rendition of What Can They Offer? I know it's a little mini-series I started here on my channel regarding The Mandalorian. And honestly, I have enjoyed talking about, you know, Bo-Katan and talking about Boba Fett. But I think this character of Ahsoka Tano has been probably the one where most of us have been hype. The most, like, look forward to moment and... It was very surprising. It really was surprising to see Ahsoka. And I was just so happy. You know, they introduced her really quickly. And before I go any further, there are spoilers if you guys have not watched the episode yet. Um, really quick 30 second recap. We had Ahsoka showing up in the first opening minutes of this episode. We have the Mando being sent out to quote unquote kill the Jedi. But he never agreed to that we actually see him uniting or i guess teaming up with ahsoka and taking down the magistrate or i guess the government that was in charge and it comes out to reveal that the name grand admiral thrawn is out there and this is where honestly a lot of us are going to be speculating wondering what in the world has happened and that's one of my first points that i want to bring ahsoka coming into this series coming into the Mandalorian specifically, has really brought us a huge, huge hole now. A hole that that Boba had start, started to fill, I mean, started to make. bo made it bigger because we want to know what's going on in Mandalore. And now with Ahsoka, we want to know what's going on with Thrawn. We want to know what's going on with Ezra. We want to know what's, where, where in the world is Sabine. And theories have been everywhere. There have been saying that this actually happened before the end of Rebels. Uh, this could also mean that Sabine and Ezra have already united. They're, I mean, they're together and they're somewhere else. Honestly, this really just feels like a kind of like a start for Ahsoka's series. And if it does happen, if it does get green lighted, you best believe that everyone's going to be watching it. Me as a fan, I'm excited for that idea. Like, honestly, I would love to see it. Or even, you know, Rebels, you know, as in the uh, another, uh, maybe a live action with it. Sabine, Ezra, and Ahsoka working together to take down uh, Grand Admiral Thrawn be between, you know, Episode 6 and 7. That would be great. And all of these things are what Ahsoka has been able to offer. Already, in just this 47-minute episode, there has been so much. And I do hope that in the future we get to see more of live action Ahsoka. Personally, and this is kind of my second point, I feel like with Bo, with the previous character that we had seen, you know, that was from the animated series into live action, it was a great pick. A lot of people weren't too happy with Rosario Dawson being the one picked, but I felt like she had done a fabulous job. I think she actually did a very good job, and I'm actually very happy with the way it turned out. And so I think that the way she acts, the way Ahsoka is, you know, a lot of physical similarities. I think that it was really what helped this character out a lot. And I know some people were complaining about the way that she may look, but honestly, I'm okay with that. We, we can't expect everything to be as it was in the animated series. But I think that this right here is going to set us up for possibly another live action i mean i had said this before with you know, boba fett there have been rumors about him having his own spin-off with bo katan having her own spin-off and then with ahsoka possibly having her own spin-off so imagine that guys three different spin-offs all different storylines all between what's happened between episodes six and seven like there's a huge gap there that needs to be filled and I'm, they might be connecting it all, possibly, and that might be one of the reasons why we're having this series. But I really do think that these three characters that have already come back, that have returned, or that have been brought into live action, they need their own series. Simply because more questions are being asked now. And now with the reveal with Grogu, his name, we don't know who in the world was at the Jedi Temple to save him. In fact, I might have a video tomorrow theorizing what I believe to be some of the people, because I'm not giving you one answer, because honestly we don't know, but some of my personal theories, and I've actually put out on Twitter, I've actually made a little 
uh, I guess you could say poll. So if you guys want to check out and, and see what my options are, because I actually have more. I'd actually, you know, I have my own personal theories. But if you have your own theories, please let me know in the comment section below about that, because that is going to be a video that I will be having tomorrow on the channel. I'm hitting it hard with a, with all of this content, but I don't want to deviate too much. That's something that you guys should look forward to if you're interested for tomorrow. But Ahsoka, I am so glad the Rosario, you did a great job with her, and I'm looking forward to more. But let me know what you guys think. Has Ahsoka offered a lot for this series, and what do you guys think overall with her now being live action? As always, though, stay safe, take care of yourselves and others, and I will catch you later.